Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to FTP files from your Android phone to your uh, PS3 console. First, uh, you go to your PS3. You should uh, in, in a, uh, first uh, your PS3 should be jailbroken. You should enable him. I, I already enabled it. And go to your uh, multi-man. Here is multi-man. Now we have to go to system information and click on it. Now write down the IP address that it showed in front of you 192.168.1.107. Now we're going to go to my Android phone and I will show you the method. Now as you can see guys, this is the application that we are going to use. It's called the ES file explorer. It is a totally free application. I will provide you with the link below to go download it. First of all, go to the settings. Go and look for, uh, look for network. Here it is. And look for FTP and click on it, FTP. Now, uh, as you guys see, I already have the, the uh, I already have uh, the FTP with uh, my PS3. We will create a new one. Uh, we click on new FTP. Here, guys, you can see server. In the server area, you will uh, write down your IP address that we already get from the PS3 multi-man. Here we go. 192.1 and that depends on your ps3 but they are i think uh, they are similar 168.1.107 username you can write any name you want and i don't think it's necessary i will write your name my name sorry it's uh yourself 97 next i don't think you need a password and display as i will uh, you can write down anything you want my ps3 okay we're done and we click ok if the ftp if the con uh, ftp connection work you should see the ps3 root files on your android device okay guys let's go as you can see guys, here it is, my PS3 files. Let's access it. And you can see here it is the PS3 root files. Let's go to devhdd0. Here you can see the root files of your PS3. Let's go to the game files. Here you guys see. Now you can FTP anything you want. If it's uh, game files or modes or anything, etc. And if uh, the uh, the root uh, the PS3 root files appears on your uh, Android device in the same time on your PS3 console, you should see an FTP logo blinking in your multi-man. And here you know that uh, the FTP connection is successful successfully enabled. And guys, don't forget it will only work if your multi-man is on. If your multi-man is off, FTP will not work. You should make sure a uh, multi-man is on to, to activate the FTP connection between your Android device and your PS3 console. And also, the PS3 and the, the Android device should be on the same uh, Wi-Fi connection. Okay guys, thank you so much. Please like and sub subscribe.